Right. So as we spoke about in mead, the usage of mead at the same time is both technical as well as it's used to induce an emotional quality into the bandish or the composition that you're playing or singing. So similarly with gamak, I've told you more or less what it's technical use is and can be. For us as listeners, that's more than enough. Now, what is the use of gamak when you are using it non-technically? As you may or may not have guessed, gamak can be used to inject a somber, meditative, serious quality to the composition that you're singing or playing. It also has its specific uses, like gamak sometimes is used excessively in rags which deal with the subject of rain. So the rags from the Malhar family, Meg Malhar, Mia Malhar, God Malhar. In these rags, the movement of heavy black grey clouds across the sky is sort of portrayed through the heavy usage of gamak. Uh, for example, bule, bule. So I did not use any gamak here. This was gamak. So you saw how when I said barasana, which means to rain basically, I used gamak to portray the mood of malhar and just monsoons in general. It's kind of tough to explain, but it'll, it'll slowly grow on you. As in when you listen to such compositions or such rags. Similarly, this will slowly grow on you and you will slowly begin to understand why is it that artists use gamak to portray something as random as movement of clouds across the sky, but the movement of clouds as well as the movement of gamak will slowly grow on you. As in when you listen to more and more recordings on this channel or elsewhere. Moreover, Gamak can also be used to inject, as I said, a serious quality into rags and this is seen in rags like Darbari Kannada, which we will definitely explore in some other recording. So that was it for this episode. I know these episodes which have to deal with, which deal extensively with definition and what gamak is, what mead is, can be a little boring, but stick with me so that our understanding of Indian classical music grows slowly and slowly and we can understand and take more and more from the same recordings again and again and our understanding just reaches you know newer heights so that was it for this episode and i'll see you in the next episode until then namaste